Today, we are going to talk about the relation between the tens and the hundreds. First, we are going to remember that 10 tens equals 100. So in 100, there are always 10 tens. To find the tens digit in a number, we should look at the tens place in the number 236. 3 is the tens digit. In the number 320, 2 is the tens digit. Now we will find the relation between the tens and the hundreds. In 100, there are 10 tens. So, in 200, there are 20 tens. In 300, there are 30 tens. In 400, there are 40 tens, and so on. We know that 10 tens equals 100, but what is 11 tens equal to? 11 tens is 10 tens plus 1 ten, which is 101 ten, which makes 100 plus 10, so it is 100 ten. Now what is 18 tens equal to? 18 tens is 10 tens plus 8 ten which is equal to 108 tenths, which makes 100 plus 80, so it is equal to 180. Another example, 25 tenths is 20 tenths plus 5 tenths, which is equal to 205 tenths, which makes 200 plus 50, so it is equal to 250.